Tuesday, 7.55 p.m. Okay, so we're getting higher and higher in inches. And we're at a police station. Take you think long? it's gonna take long? No, he should be finished soon. Oh, wait. oh, this is that guy again. Can't just get up. What's he? Is he put, he's putting on the bloody glasses again. Really? You just look like a freak to everyone. That's cool though, I must say. Hell yeah! What the hell? Yeah, see? <laughs> you just look like a freak to people though. <laughs> That's, that's enough. Alright, I don't like, look like a weirdo anymore. It's alright. I want to see what he does. Let's put his arms up. Do just do the same? I take it we just got to do these glasses things until he comes out and answers. Can we do the tank this time? Yeah. Oh. Oh, really? Oh, there we go. Really? God. Can we go in now? Come on. Yeah. There we go. I'm off, Charlene. I'll look at the reports later. I'll cancel all appointments for this afternoon. Okay. Oh, Captain. Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI is here. Jaden, of course. We've been expecting you. I'm in a bit of a hurry. Do you mind tagging along? We can talk as we walk. Yeah, of course. I wanted to introduce myself before getting started, but uh, perhaps there's a better no, time. No, no, it's fine. I just have to get to the press conference. We have them every day now. Believe me, it's not always easy finding something to tell them. Fortunately, today we have some news. <laughs> Why is this fortune to? Lieutenant Blake yet? Yeah, we met this morning. He has his own methods, but he's a good cop. I'm sure you'll get them well together. Do you know how to tie a knot in a necktie? I guess. To be frank with you, I could have done without the FBI on this one, but the press. They're all over us. This origami killer case crept up on us, and it's fast becoming a national concern. There are hundreds of killers in this country, but what do you know? This guy is exotic. He leaves flowers and origami figures. Work that one out. Then the press get onto it, and we suddenly become the center of the universe. I'm here to arrest a serial killer. With all due respect, sir, the rest of it, it's none of my business. No, of course not. All I'm asking is that you make progress, and fast. The press want a perpetrator, and we're gonna have to serve him up on a silver platter. Hmm. Not bad. <laughs> oh, go see Charlie and she'll show you to your office. Why is there just a character Check there? Check in on the press conference if you're interested. It'll give you an idea of the political climate. Why, why is he just stood Thank there? You, sir. Welcome to the club, <laughs> just, he's still just stood, Is he still stood there? Okay. So what do I need to do now? Think I need a good cup of java. I'll have a look around the station. Stretch my legs for a bit. Okay. I'm dying of thirst. Where's the water cooler when you need one? Perry? Strange character, Captain Perry. Seems to be more interested in meeting the press than investigating the crime. Blake. I saw Blake when I arrived. Maybe I should go talk to him. Did you? I didn't see him anywhere. 
Captain Perry is doing his press conference now. Might be interesting to have a look. Oh, it would be. I should get Perry's assistant to show me my office. I can't wait to get to work. Questions, questions. Let's go look. The methodology indicated another victim of the origami killer. Can you be more specific? An origami figure was found in the victim's hand, and an orchid was placed on his chest. Hmm. His face was covered with mud, but there were no visible traces of violence oh. in the body. Go ahead. Let's go find Blake. I'm just gonna go get a drink. We're just gonna find Blake. Don't know where he is, but oh man, let's get a cup of cup of Java. Okay, if you want to call it that, freak. Are you alright, mate? It's gonna be hot. Or gross. <laughs> Wait, never, never drank coffee before or something. Okay. Criminal shit. Blake, Blake, Blake. Where is Blake? Let's go find him. He'll be in there, is he? Is this the bathroom? Yeah, it's the bathroom. Someone in there. I swear I got was just washing his hands. Alright, you do you, mate. You do you. I won't go near wrong because that's women's, I'm pretty sure. Can't go in there. Can't go in there. What's down there? Nothing. Are this all cell blocks? Must be. What's in here? Okay. So got a camera. Oh, they're investigating. Oh, question, questioning, not investigating. Not interested. What about Blake? Case is front page news in all the papers. It's not going to be easy investigating a crime under the glare of all this publicity. Oh. This investigation is starting to give me the creeps. Get a hold of yourself, man. Nice watch. Oh, it's the present we offer to our new lieutenants. We bought the same model each year for the past 20 years for each promotion. It optimizes everybody's time, and it's the kind of thing that always goes down well. You can contribute to our fund if you like. We're still a few dollars short. Yeah, I'm all right. Sorry, I... I don't have any chance. No problem. Maybe next time round. Yeah, definitely not. Captain Perry said you could show me to my office? Yes, of course. Follow me. Cheers, Perry. Oh. Yeah, this way. Office down there, is it? Next to the toilets. Lovely. A shoy looking office, Jesus. This this is my office? That's where I was told to take you. If you need anything, you know where to find me. Yeah, this is dead. Okay. 
time to work. So is he Blake? God, there's where he is. Come on, let's do some file shit. Or push it off. No. Don't even look like a fit like under there. Like sit under there. So what now? Oh, can I sit down now? There we go. Right, can I see everything with these glasses then? Step one. Change, Change the, office. the office. Open. I don't know what any of this is. Cloud or waves? Oh, that is nice. I mean, nice until a shark comes. Autumn? Ah, oh, that's nice, that is. Just nothing. Apart from nature. What's this one? It's a space. Mar yeah, like <laughs> just sat in the middle of Mars. This one's the clouds. So on the ah, uh, yeah, that's the coolest, definitely. There you go. Uh, watch us. Eight victims in the last three years. All boys, aged between nine and thirteen. No signs of violence. The victims disappear from public places in broad daylight. No one notices anything. Bodies are found three to five days later. Drowned. In rainwater. Hmm. Interesting. Always the same ritual. An origami in the hand. An orchid on the chest. The victims have always been dead for less than six hours when they were found. Which means they remained alive for several days before being drowned. Over 3,500 people questioned. Over 100 suspects interrogated. Not a single lead to go on. The killer is white, aged between 30 and 45. He is intelligent. Calm and determined. An organized type. He has a car. He's probably employed, but his work allows him free time. Hmm. No data. Uh, let's analyze this one. There's always a railroad line adjacent to where the bodies are found. And all the victims disappeared in the fall.
Okay, you see. Killer They're all quite has a large close. comfort zone. He gained confidence rapidly and moved away from his base. Oh, this won't make the geo profiling any easier. The next one's are over the bridge. Two, like, some are close to each other, some aren't. Okay, clues? Right, let's have a look at clues. Well, well. Looks like there's something new. Satellite? Hmm. Okay, okay. Oh, what do we have here? Harry, comment. Tire tracks on the side of the road behind the railroad line. It may be the killer's car. The figure. What is it? No prints or specific clues. Hmm. Nothing much to go on. No print. Anything? Just one origami store in town. But he could just make him himself, I guess. Common species. That doesn't help much. But geo analyze it. The orchid is a common species. Uh. It can be found at any flower shop. That doesn't help at all. Okay. And then this one. What's this? Tracks. Okay. The killer's car is probably a Chevrolet Malibu 83. 83. No data. Okay. It's gonna. Is it this one? I didn't. Yeah. No data. Okay. Okay, so it didn't really help the clues, I must say. Should I do do map a minute? So we have this radius. Let's do the environment. Nope, nope. I want to do environment. Trying the environment, but <laughs> who wouldn't like let me? <sighs> no, nope. ain't gonna let me. So let's close Ari down. Oh, not you as well. What is it with people like dying? Here we go again. Well, blacking out. Wash my face. What does he mean by here I go again? It's like he knows what's happening to him. I need to take some. I'm gonna faint if I resist. Resist what? It's all right. I know I can make it. I know. I know I can make it. Open the door. Take it? What is it? Uh Is he a, a truckie? It's like Coke. Is he a... Is he a druggie? Oh, and this is, um... 
Oh, I'm so bad with names. I can't remember who it is, but obviously the dad. This is Lieutenant He's come in. Mr. Marsh. Oh, there he is. Please tell him what happened. It, it was this afternoon. I went to the park with my son, Sean. We played together for a while. And then he wanted to go on the carousel. So I put him on one of the wooden horses. And when I turned back, Sean had disappeared. Exactly what time did you arrive at the park? Try to remember exactly, Mr. Mars. Every detail can be important. It must have been about... Oh my god, how am I supposed to know? 5.30, I think. I'm not really sure. How am I supposed to know? What was your son wearing when he disappeared? He was uh -oh. wearing a coat. Great. Not black, I didn't mean black. And a pair of pants. Green pants. Yeah, I don't, How could Sean have <laughs> I don't know about any of that, right? Weren't you right by the carousel? I went for a short walk around the park just for a few minutes. When I got back, the carousel had stopped. Yeah, I sh shouldn't have said Sean that. There. That was dumb of me. You say you took your son to the park after school, but you didn't report him missing until 8:15. Why did it take you so long to contact the police? Uh, searched. I searched the whole neighborhood for him. I, I thought he couldn't have gone far. All right. That's all the questions I have for now. You're free to go, Mr. Mars. We'll continue to look for Sean overnight. We'll contact you if we have any more questions. Do... Do you think the origami killer... Listen, your son's probably just run off and he'll turn up in a couple of hours. And if he doesn't? It is the origami killer. Well, then we have about four days to find him alive. Did they find something? No, nothing yet. Ah, that's the mum. Looking through the night. Do they? Do they think it's the origami killer? I don't think they do. It, it, it's still too early to say, but it is a possibility. Well, don't say that. Could you lose Sean like that? You should never have taken your eyes off him. I mean, for God's sake, how hard is it to keep your eye on a child in the park? Why did you leave him, Ethan? Why? Wasn't it enough losing Jason? Damn. Sorry. That's not what I meant to say. <laughs> I miss him so much. Yeah, don't you think I do as well? <laughs> Hugger. Jesus. <laughs> 